Well, Mr. Dorothy, welcome to City Hall. Thank you. Glad to be here. Um, conversations at City Hall with Mr. Dorothy, school superintendent today, and we know that everybody has a lot of questions for you. I'm sure I'm, you've been hearing a lot. I'm sure they, they do have a lot of questions. We have our own questions. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yes. So what's the biggest question that you're hearing right now? Well, I think the biggest question is will we be in school in session or are we still going to be doing some sort of online session? In well, the I mean, fall? I want to know that. I'm a terrible teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that's been difficult, a big challenge for parents and trying to make that work with still trying to work and, um, right. and, and it's not their expertise. But uh, so uh, our goal right now is to be open in, in August, like normal. Um, there are a lot of questions that have to be answered before that can happen. Um, the county health department has a lot of control over who, uh, how we'll open and when and, and what the rules will be and guidelines for, for, a, um, for an opening. So I heard you say that school will be reopening if possible like normal this year. What does like normal mean? Well, normal will change. Right. Um, I'd love to say that we'll start just like every year and it'll be normal and kids will ride the buses, parents will drop them off and we'll have school like, like what someone would say is normal. Right. So we'll have a new normal. That new normal will probably mean we're taking temperatures of kids at doors will be asking questions uh, about symptoms, right. that kind of thing. Possibly uh, staff and students all wearing masks okay. so that we can operate. Uh, possibly everyone trying to keep six feet apart. Mm -hmm. uh, possibly uh, classes of students trying to stay in smaller groups and then not mixing with other classes at the school so, so we can a bubble concept. Yes, kind okay. of uh, kind of keeping it into a smaller group, a cohort group as you would say, uh, so the spread doesn't go into more than that group. Right. Uh, so those are some of the things that we're looking at for this fall. Uh, sanitizing our buildings, what will that include? Hand washing, hand sanitizer, uh, sanitizing the classrooms, how often does that need to happen, do we have enough supplies for all of that, those okay. are all of those new normal things. That's a lot of logistics. Yes. And of course legally there will, that, that a lot of whether you reopen at all will be up to the health department. Right? The health department will make the final call on whether we open in the fall or not. Okay. Right now I believe they're saying you're going to open, but it's going to be under these rules and guidelines. So uh, that's our goal right now is to open in the fall. And what that looks like, we're working on right now. Right. And everybody, of course, wants to know all the details right now. Sure. The truth is everybody would like to know now, and I wish I could tell them, but it might be late July before I can tell them here's exactly what this is going to be. Right. And of course, everything is subject to change, even in late July. Even in late July, they could tell us the first day of school, planned day of school, and say, sorry, you're not opening because we've had this breakout, uh, so we're going to push you back a week or two weeks before we'll allow you to open. Any of that could change on any time schedule. So we have to be, we have to be flexible. Moms and dads are going to have to be flexible on what happens when those kind of no time um, with no warning. Right. What will the school calendar look like? Do you know? Right now, we're, we're looking at the normal calendar. Okay. But I do know we are looking at, at tentatively, could that change? Um, it could be something like the universities have gone to where they kind of start early and then and then in by Thanksgiving. Uh, those things are on the table. Uh, I don't know that that will happen. I think 
first of all, we're going to try and run our school calendar mm -hmm. like we normally do. Okay. But there may be some advantages to shifting that um, to when we have the kids going to school and less chance of breakouts. Uh, so I think there's a chance that calendar could change. Would you be willing to spell out some of the rationale behind the idea of switching calendars? Uh, yeah, the idea being that you're trying to avoid those heavy um, times when you have infections like the flu. Okay. I mean, we know how the flu works for us. We go through that every year. Right. Uh, we don't know that this is exactly the same as that, but right. you're trying to take advantage of here's this time and window. We'll try to get education in here between those times of high incidence and then try to uh, go to other times. The other thing is waiting for that vaccine. Right. Hopefully they're optimistic they'll have a vaccine by around the first of the year. So if you could work around that and maybe not have as much school in the fall, right. then maybe you can take advantage of when that vaccine comes out. Uh, but who knows whether the vaccine will really come out uh, at that time and um, and exactly when the most infectious time is especially with this virus as it is different than the flu. Right, absolutely. And so much depends on what the virus does right now. That's correct. So what else would you like to tell us about school? Anything um, we are working, uh, most certainly this last spring, we did the continuous learning plan. Mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of put together as an emergency. We had about one week to figure out how to do that. Yeah. Uh, it most certainly was not perfect. Mm -hmm. It was not the best way to do that. We will not do that. Uh, sorry. Uh, we will not do that um, like that again. We might have online at home learning again. That's possible if we're shut down, but it will, there will be more to it. It will be uh, more help to the kids, uh, more time with kids online. Uh, so there'll be more to it if we have to do that again. Uh, but it will not be like we did this spring. That makes uh, sense. You have more time to plan. And yes, out. we have a little more time to plan this time to make it better right. than what that was. We didn't have much time and then we had to adjust along the way. And most certainly it was a, a struggle for some families to make that work with devices and connections and, and, and just helping kids with right. their homework. So, yeah. We, Myself as a parent, I saw some teachers struggling also with some of the same issues. And uh, first time doing it, our teachers were learning how to do it the right. same time the kids were. All of us were learning together. Sure. Um, so I believe it's public knowledge that Wellsville's had an outbreak um, this summer. Um, if something like that were to happen in Baldwin City, do you have a plan for how you would handle that? Well, yes, we would probably suspend our programs uh, that we have right now and most certainly seek advice from the county health department on what our next steps would be. Uh, our program that we're running this summer, all of our programs we've run, we're running this summer were approved by the health department right. based on, on what we're doing. Uh, if we had a breakout of some kind in there, then we would have to stop and suspend that until we could check with them and say, what, what do we do? Uh, strong chance that those programs would be suspended at least two weeks, the 14 mm -hmm. days, uh, before we'd start them back up again, or maybe not start them up for a longer period of time than that. Understood. And the important thing there is that you're working hand in hand with the health department. Right? Correct. Uh, we're in contact with them. At all. I won't say daily, but quite often, if it's not me, it's one of the other staff members making contact with them to say, is this an okay protocol right. for, for doing this program? Right, so absolutely. And the school district is, seems to be very focused on making a solid plan for the school year coming up. 
with everybody's safety in mind. Correct, and we're involving a lot of people in that. Most certainly it's, it's staff leadership now, but we're involving teachers. We will be involving parents. We'll have some surveys going out, but we will also be probably sitting down with the site councils, the district, and building site councils to say, are you comfortable with this plan, or what are your concerns, before we roll this thing out to everybody. Right. Absolutely. And again, you're looking at a potential late July timeline to roll out a plan. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Mr. Dorothy. Sure. Glad to be here.